Hello, this is Hawker the Bean, and today we are going to be reading about some more insane parents, also known as people that should not be parents in any capacity. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this negativity. Thanks for this to be as long as yesterday. But that's only if we can hope. Bye. Adios, drive safe. I'll be back after work because I have responsibilities. I love you and hope you can find peace. Actually, I'll be back in the morning because I have to drop off the car. I have peace. Your responsibility has been to be the best that you can be. Drop the car, responsibility. What exactly are you doing? Don't waste your empty words on me. Car mechanic, responsibilities, animals, school. My mess is not enough. My words are not devoid. Not a doormat. Not a revolving door of convenience. My anything is nothing. Hopefully you are safe. Bye. You're not a revolving door, but I should be able to leave and come back. Me leaving doesn't mean permanent. I may just need space. I'm sorry if my words hurt you. I hope we can have more conversations like the one yesterday. I'm dead. Glad to know everyone else is entitled to whatever. Bye. I hope I have no more make-believe relationships. I'm sorry I tried. How are you texting if you died? Not entitled. I don't need a backpack with a leash. Do you think this is fake? Conflict shows effort and emotion. And yes, if you'd be so gracious and grab me right so that us again can get the stuff inside of the mechanic, like plan, if not, please let me know ahead of time so I can get to work accordingly. Phrase your man, Ed. Enjoy. Really think who and where you ran to for guidance. Revisit how and what you spoke to me. My best is never enough. I won't tolerate. A disrespectful. I don't need more stress. Do you think I'm fake? Do you think I'm blowing smoke? Backpack with a leash. What the heck? Stop the... And they didn't show all of it. Okay. Gracious to Grant. You are unbelievable. Unbelievably Hispanic. Hispanic month, right? Good job supporting heritage. Hmm. Oh boy. We have a grandma. A religious grandma. How do you think you and Blank got saved from going into foster care two hours away that day? How do you think you got through those horrible whatever it was at those three hospitals that did not know what to do for you? You had people praying for you all your lives. How did it could happen that mom decided to have you live there? Luck? B.S. You're a new demon and other things. Inks Blank wanted to join her in. Is her life so great with those? I think not. Now you give up on Jesus. Boy, I think you had better think really hard about that move. You need help from someone who loves you and demons, etc. Sure as hell are, aren't, are not going to. Blank friend Satan is probably laughing his ass off. He loves people in misery. I don't know. My experience from talking to a lot of people who believe in this religion reading the book of this religion it makes me think that it's actually god who likes people in misery or that the religion is just is just saying that 
being happy is actually miserable. He was not the one who loves you. He hates God's creation, especially his son. You say there's no proof of Jesus. Even at our years, I count from his crucifixion. Yeah, but there's no proof of it happening. Christmas is because of him. No, it's because of the solstice. <sighs> it actually used to be you all tied. Easter is because of him. No, it isn't. They found the ark already, but did you believe that? It's in the Bible. They didn't find... I'm quite sure they didn't find any ark, but go off. You and Link both say you read some of the Bible. I thought you read very much at all, or else you would not be turning away from Jesus. You say you believe in God. Well, news flash, there is no way to God without faith in Jesus. But if you read the Bible, you would know that too. Yes, I am angry. Angry old, old people, right? I'm kidding. I get pushed off with people who, who over and over have miracles. Like the CAS coming to dad because as they do not have to I'm to take you to you two to foster care that day. Oh yeah, by the way, um Christmas is actually a an appropriation on a holiday that the um pagan worshippers were really into called Yuletide Date, and it happened to be on the same date, the winter solstice of sorts. And I don't think that Easter is actually the day that he apparently came from Iraq or was as crucified. And also, I think it was another holiday that they just took from a different culture that actually existed. Keep for the night for them. How oh, about by miracle? When they had no idea that your, your dad wanted you guys so badly and they ended up on the store? It sure wasn't luck and Satan. The poor guy who got a bum rap from God as Blake claims. You guys accept good things in your life as luck. Your dad had it right as you told me about how he got the lawn. On mower and many other things. He said like blessings that coming over and over to him. Then after he drops blank, getting in him his dream jobs. Just because she would not sell for his sex without marriage. That's when he blamed aimed at Jesus. My goodness, good fortune is not freaking miracles from God. Especially not material things like a freaking lawnmower. A lawnmower is very much good luck. What the hell? Bull, he got all his good things from Jesus. Now he's earned a way life is a bit tougher. Yes, I feel bad for him, but he chose to walk away from Jesus blank to... Ooh. Life is really not the same without him. Watch it be exactly the same, but a a this character is just actively trying to make it worse for everyone who turned away from these relations and ship. Man, if you came to your senses and realized who has been on your side through life, you would not fall for demons. Sad, very sad. Why do you think the Vikings gave up on that demon and the others, his angels, of beliefs in for Christianity? They didn't give up on it. They just simply were forced into not believing in it anymore through murder. Because, uh, you know what? The Christianity is really a freaking famous for crusades against non-believers and murdering in Vikings for daring to take baths. Which actually happened. They, British people were mad Vikings because they took baths and didn't smell like crap. There was a forceful relationship between me and God because it was basically a forced relationship between us. As this for almost all cultures that had, had apparently gave up their personal beliefs for the God uh, you who believe in. Because guess what? Christianity really likes to be violent and force their beliefs on everyone else. 
Anyway, there was no first or relation between me and God because it was a it was basically a forced relation between us. But there is supposed to be a personal relationship, which is why Blank and I felt out out of the Christian belief. I will no longer be responding to messages you send like this because I do not wish to feel like I am being pushed back to being Christian. Messages like that will immediately be deleted. And I would appreciate you respecting my boundaries on that, just like I respect yours. No, P is stronger than me, that's for damn sure. God damn. I just punished you. You took my TV, my Xbox, and $500. It was a punishment. I'm 27. I have my own apartment, and I bought all of it with my own money. You broke into my home last night and took my belongings. I will call the police on you if, you, if, if I do not have my belongings returned to me. You had a big mouth when you were talking to me. You had an attitude. Mm. And you have a death charge on your record. Good job. <sighs> I received an application from KIA that the part for the Heku is in. It says to contact the e KIA. Yeah, dealership to have your repair done. I think I'm supposed to say Kia there, but I'm not really sure. Oh, I love when this happens, don't you? Happy Thanksgiving, son. I love you and miss you so much. Your phone is paid off and is unlocked. For some reason, I can't do it on my end. So to unlock it, either call all 611 customer support or follow these steps. Okay, thanks. How are you? The network status is unlocked. Okay, make sure you get on to a different carrier by... I had December 12th, so you don't lose service. We're ending service with T-Mobile on that day. Okay, thank you for everything. I love you. Just reminder that our service is shutting off tomorrow. Like I said, your phone is paid off. It just needs to be unlocked by calling 611. Okay, thank you. By the way, I have another toll bell for $45. I'm not sure if that's the same one from August or not. Open to find out. Not sure when I use a toll road. Can I get reference about number two? Oh, please. Okay, it's paid. Thank you. Thank you. This seems so wholesome so far, but we know what's going to happen. Thank you. Merry Christmas. I love you. 
If you need a place to stay, I am blank number one. Or just come by, I work nights at Whole Foods. Please get in touch with me, I'm worried. Wrecked. Imagine dragons. Wrecked. This looks really sad, honestly. 3M thoughts. What I want for my children in this matter is say, I want to know how much I love you. I want you to remember me. To remember to be kind and have empathy for others. I want you to know that I think about you daily and sometimes worry about you because moms never stop worrying about their children. I want you to be happy and healthy. I want you to make sure to make good life choices. I want you to feel valued and I want you to use your life to pursue your dreams. You see, I don't really want or need anything from you. I want things for you. That's all a mother ever wants. We want our children's happiness above all else. Just like you know, I am moving three states away. On Wednesday, by bus, her junkie ex and I are no longer together. My aunt and uncle need me. They are in their 80s. Goodbye, and I love you, Mom. Hmm. Can you spread a Kia for about a month? I didn't leave when I was supposed to. Long ass story. Hi, birthday son. Love you. More than words can say. I'm in the hospital at blank. I can't leave here. Say, Max. Took all of my stuff out of his house and put it in storage. I don't have anywhere to go and have no car or money. I know you don't care, but I thought I'd tell you. I love you and made an inner sake with. Yep. I chose over you. I'm so sorry. Now I'm at the motel on on blank. I now have the keys to my storage unit. There is any possible way you could take me there to That's about as much as I can tell with one hundred percent accuracy. Is there any, way you, any possible way you could take me there to get some clothes and shampoo? I'm doing these things so I can go to work. I believe I hit rock bottom. But for right now, we have moved my aunt and uncle to... That is hard to read. Back to my state, but several hours away. For now, I'm living here, taking care of them. Would love to hear from you. I need you right now. I just got back into town from spending a lot of time with my family. I was attacked. A guy is in jail for or attempted murder. Please contact me. Damn. And then she sends a post on Facebook called Perfect Relationship. Hey, just checking in with you to see if you're doing okay. I love you. So far, it seems like OP is just really cold to their own mother. Oh, wait. We get the context. Long story. Mom has been a day addicted to painkillers on and off for most of my 22 male life. A few years ago, my dad divorced her and she slept on a futon in my living room. I paid all the bills until she eventually got a part-time job and started paying some utilities. My hand-me-down car died and so we co-signed for one and together under the agreement that it would mostly be my car. My plan was to build my credit and eventually refinance the car on my own. She agreed to make the payments since her only other bill was utilities. I paid the insurance. I helped with the payments when she was short, so we weren't missing it. Fast forward almost a year, and she started stating a married but separated piece of trash. And soon after, ends up developing a back problem that scores her a new OxyScript. Fun. Lease is ending soon. Time to jump ship. Looking for new places with my IGF and then 
and I find out mom has missed two months of car payments. As if she had to do anything besides tell me she needed the money. Absolutely thanks my credit. Fantastic. Still co got out and went low o contact. Lizzie and Sandy, I've been dirt since. I haven't gone full no contact yet, so I can have her sign over the title when I'm finally able to refinance without her. I oh, don't know, it seems like you're basically no contact already. Oh no. I just got out of school to get my car. He was very angry that I didn't immediately pick up. You can figure out the voice today, right? Answer me. I need to know. God damn. Fortunately, this is an almost daily occurrence. Blank, I do feel trust. You have to text and ask me first before you go anywhere, and you need to wait until I respond. Your phone needs to be fully charged and life to be succeed on and not paused. Oh my gosh, you're not even in the state. I told Blank I was going to, but Blank, sorry. First of all, Life 360 seems like, like that thing that needs to just us be outlawed completely. It seems like it's used by toxic people to keep track of their adult old offspring. You need to ask me and have your phone charged and Life360 on and on pause. Call me now. A friend saw you in blank. Call now and follow the rules or you are on lockdown all weekend. I get a new phone. New phone number two. <sighs> this is Zopi's mom. Oh, grand, a uh, crazy grandmother. Haven't I asked you not to send photos of the mess in my room? Haven't I asked you to keep your room clean? Okay. I don't think it's really your space to be making demands of, but go off. Oh god. I did not expect to have to do this. But it looks like I do. I'm scared. What am I gonna find? This is the first one, right? You weren't supposed to snooze it. I need to read these things. This will have to be the last one. Hey dad, just wanted to give you a heads up that I'll be swinging by on Saturday to grab your stuff. I hope that works for you. Thanks and see you soon. Love, Noah. Hey dad, sign this again to make sure you see it. Just wanted to give you a heads up. I'll be swinging back I tomorrow to grab my stuff. I hope that works for you. Thanks and see you soon. Love, Noah. Why do you do that? Today won't work. I also expect more communication in four months than this. Unfortunately, today's the only time when I where I can get my stuff before I leave for a three week half oh, or spend shift course in a few days. And I need some stuff. I understand you're busy. I'm sure I can envy Elaine by Grace. I was wanting to talk while I was there, but I understand if that ha can ha happen. Well, we can come between twelve and two. A Grace is moving out. Part of why today is busy. B I haven't slept. And it's not a good time to talk to me. You can disappoint me heavily here and cost me more than you could and ever repay. 
C, you don't seemingly live here. You just don't get to t us tell me when you're coming and going. A, we'll be quick. I'm going to bring a, a friend to make, make things go faster. B, I don't see how, how I've let you down as I always has tried my best to do what you asked. As even after I told you I was depressed and suicidal. Oh, and you did nothing. C, I don't live there because you told me I could either give you a 40 hour work week or move out. The answer is no. And to your point, you never acknowledged our needs or the risks we took. I tried to help you, but need your help. You didn't do anything you were supposed to. I risked it all. You threw it all away for trivial reasons. I'm not having this conversation now. Why should your suicide old children look after you before you lift a finger for them? Because I'm sick. My partner is sick. Because life is hard for everyone and we all have mental battles. Because I beg for your help every day for months. And because you never listened to me about any of the damn things that made you freaking suicidal. You never changed your behavior every time I pushed. You resisted. You want to live by default and you can't in this world. I told you because this was my last chance to have anything that wasn't struggling. That wasn't just struggle for the rest of my life. Because I was making a lifeboat for everyone. Huh. Dude, this is so not true, though. We all struggle. We all have suicidal ideation if we're sensitive. No, we don't. A lot of people don't have suicidal ideation if they can, if they a, are healthy. We think about it every day. We do because we care. People don't think about suicide every day. That tells me that you have a massive problem. I've learned just how much you all care, though. And lift a finger for you. You've had more than anyone in my family ever had. More than I was ever given and had at less ask of you. Don't be ridiculous. Be case OT. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be uh, laughing. Yes, because one can just stop being depressed. Like, you can stop being sick. Because it's hard, you get to decide that for us both. When I'm carrying everyone, you didn't listen to the person holding you up when they said it was too much. You sat there watching more fucking videos. My energy was a back stop. I carried everyone's risk and yet you all didn't listen to me the most. What the hell? If you're the only person that can tell that you care, then you're doing something wrong. Or you're all doing something wrong. You're not owed happiness or joy or even the absence of suffering. In fact, you should suffer. Deserve the shit of the world and be a good person. Why did you think you didn't have to try? I bet I did. Why did you come to this hope um, in the first place? You've wasted years of my life and years of my health. And yet all of you who still want to make me the bad guy for thinking that you should help, try, actually care, maybe sometimes be relied on. You should know the only people that don't know I care are, are my other, are my overprivileged children. Everyone else is horrified. If you promised to help us earn millions in an untapped market, then did fuck all to help because you promised education and support and delivered none of it. Yeah, you need to do wax on, wax off. I couldn't trust you with baby steps. Now I have to do it all. God damn. Usually, it's a parent that's like 100% an awful person, but like here, I don't want to say it, but it's hard to it's harder to tell than usual. I apologize for not doing the us when you've done it and earned your, your millions. You had support, technical, resources, financial, and the process, tools, and steps. 
I was here and waiting. You didn't get your ass into gear. You made food sometimes. You didn't inventory was needed. You didn't fountain was needed. You didn't hydroponics was needed. Those were just your projects. Yeah, nice. I was doing it for all, us all, and yet you'll help when I've done it. And you won't help because as such, if I fail, and then you'll claim superiority both ways. So fuck you, Dad, no matter what. You would never help if it cost you something. Entitled much? Feels bad doesn't mean hard done by. The world is shit, people are shit, and all of it has made broken people. It's not going to feel good. You need to be better, stronger, to do anything different. I spent the first quarter of my life broken and a child, the second struggling to grow, oh, the third raising children, the fourth struggling and sick and attacked on all sides and still working for you all. I asked you all for a year to give if you all, your, all your own freedom and business and tools. I was doing it. Anyway, to get back on topic, I am legally entitled to get my things, and I'd prefer not to get the police involved. Yeah, and you can get them at a reasonable time. Not today. Don't be petty. I'm not being petty. I need my stuff, and if this is the only time I'll be able to get it for when I need it. I hope someday you come to see what your emotional issues were are the least of the dangers that face us all. And then all I was trying to do was get you to help me face the things that we all need defense from. Well then, you should have planned better. So, do you want me to be there with or without the police? Love, Noah. You don't get to tell me where and when to be because you left stuff at their place, my, at their place, my boy. An aggressive victim is the least good thing you can be. I don't think ink either suits you. Actually, because you told me I was a tenant and employee and verbal contracts are legally are legally binding in this world country. What does that mean? I have until six months after my eviction and lease is ending to collect my property before you can legally stop me. One, not your behest demand. Two, that was in a common law contract that exchanged your services for those benefits. You reneged on this deal. If you wanted to play a law, I could take the you belong in lieu of rental. But I'm not an ass. Just not today. I've told you that today is the only day that works. And I've told you not today. You have, need to figure it out and break whatever other absolutisms you have. I have a dog to see when it needs to be put down. I have two levers of control. The man my uh, children actually listen to me, they've run around uh, and being an obstacle because they listen to nothing else. And I'm still on me, and I will still hold you to account. My fucking cat is dead because you weren't here to feed it. She chased garbage because I was exhausted dealing with a partner riding on the floor in pain for 18 hours a day. You weren't here. I asked for help. You ran. You cost me near everything in again when I told you I couldn't afford it. And then you made about you when you've had more privilege and entitlement than I've ever dreamed of. I also just can't see you right now. The hole in my heart can't take it. Amber coming almost broke me. Life was for was, was for you all. I wasn't there because when I was the only person there for you after Tatum left, you called me a butthole so many times. I'm gonna assume that Tatum is a fake name because why not? And because I'm just gonna try to say we are not looking it up. 
I need so little to save Ava all, and you thought that was too much. I still don't understand how. Then stay in your room. You're not coming to my property. You don't get to just take and take and take and then tell me what to do after you leave me with the bill, the risk, and pass appointment to return. You all gutted my rescue mission and gutted me. The Wikipedia page for narcissistic parents. Oregon versus that everyone depended on is actually is statistically significantly different and differently able than others. Wow! Just freaking the fit the description the cell of description and of a narcissist as perfectly. Labels are dumb you know that. Yeah, but you literally fit the description. You just can't seem to understand mutual dependence. I need you all to help and to do the things I could doing things you could. You couldn't earn the salary. And you could help us all. And I'd help us all get org, org started. Why was that so hard? Or you only accept labels that you like. Anyway, I'm exhausted dealing with it one move, one legal issue, and I'm not taking on more. We will talk. You will live without your things. You haven't you should have spoken earlier or planned more. I don't have to jump because you have plans. You sabotaged everything I care about and every reason I care about it. I'm struggling to find my way back from despair thanks to your collective attitudes. I nearly wish I could goddamn pray because I pray for a way to unfrick this whole situation. I was like, too sorry, but less. Bring let's see the end of the video. As a, a sincere question for your reflection, though, how do you balance thinking that I'm to blame for not helping you? With also oh, never having done the things I told you to do to improve that state. Sleep, not screens, outside, physical activity, books, social meet space, etc. And not letting me actually force or drive those behaviors. I feel I tried to tell you how to improve, but you didn't do the things and won't let me near any means of coercing you. And also claimed you're incapable of both change or improvement without it. I was left with raising my voice and demanding. I couldn't punish you. I couldn't incentivize you. And I hated it. My core lesson in all these years, all I've been waiting for, all I've been and looking for, is that true mood of comes from within, or is uns unstable, unsustainable, and unrooted. What do you need? Probably all my stuff. And then on April 2nd, he sends a voice message. <sighs> anyway, that one was a little bit more two-sided than we're used to for insane parents. It seems like they both feel very bad about the events and it and while yes dude did it literally just like embody narcissistic parent and the way that narcissists like to view themselves quite literally saying it out loud the part that's supposed to be the quiet part Oh, well, I'm gonna leave that to you a lot. I'm quite sure you lot will probably agree that at the your father in that last as post was a narcissistic egg person who actually was insane. Anyway, this was r slash insane parents. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye.